Warning, live feed of venomous reptiles. Filmed for educational purposes. Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles and do you hear that sound? That means we're in our zoo and we're standing by our rattlesnake cages. And today we're gonna film a Valentine's Day special. Yes, we're gonna have a little fun. We're also gonna talk about a little science. We're gonna learn a few things in doing so. But it does mean we will be feeding rattlesnakes. And it does mean that, because some of our rattlesnakes are wild caught, some of them are captive bred, we are going to be feeding live to our rattlesnakes. Uh, so if you don't want to watch, from the bottom of my heart, I truly understand. You know, and, and you're free not to watch this video, you're free to skip it, and it'll be just fine. And then you can pick us up next week and we're not feeding live, because we really don't do that many feed videos. But occasionally we do, they're all joining in. <laughs> But today it is going to be a live feed, so if you don't want to see that, uh, I hope you have a happy venereal disease day, I mean Valentine's Day, and you can just go ahead and dip out and we'll catch you next week. However, if you do want to see that, stick around, we have some fun, we show how, and here's what I want you to focus on besides the joking part, the actual science part that we're going to highlight in this video. We are going to show you signs of an envenomation, so you will get a chance to see what that looks like and learn about that. We are also going to show you strike speed. And I think Kurt's going to do a little bit of fancy editing and slow that down so you can see anything that happens in a viper strike. Depending on what kind of footage we get so that you can see that. Uh, if we get a chance to show you one yawn where you can see how it resets the fangs and kind of gets everything back in line, we'll show you that. What we're not going to show you is we're not going to sit here and just focus on the rat suffering to death because I don't think that makes good video and that's not what we're about. Is that going to happen? Yeah, it is. We're not going to highlight that. We will show the envenomation. We will show the strike. We will show the bite. We're not going to show the suffering. So if you're here for a smut film for a rat, you're probably not going to enjoy this either. But if you're here to see the scientific science behind the strike, how fast the strike is, how much power it is, and here's make some Valentine's Day jokes, you're in the right place. Kurt, you ready to get started? Yes. Why don't we start with this top snake here? This is one of our albinos. I want you guys to realize for safety before filming this to make it move a little quicker. We did remove our safety panels from every cage. And however, they are all still locked. So I will have to unlock each and every individual cage. That is the safety thing. This is the proper key. Okay, I'm going to put that over. We haven't unlocked it yet. It is still secured. And Kurt, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you go first on this Valentine's Day. So, here's what we have. Would you like to put a name to this? Uh, Kate. Why are we naming it Kate? Is it because it's pooping on my cage, like it just did? No, because that's the name of my ex-wife. Okay, here we go. Kate the Rat, Kurt's ex-wife. But we'll see Kate's fate. Again, we are having fun with this, but what I really want you to pay attention to is how we get rid of our exes. Actually, it's more about if that rat wanders over the right spot and the snake is hungry, how that snake reacts to that rat and how quick the strike is, and how quick you're going to see it go to work. Again, we're not going to stay on it and focus on the suffering. Here we go. And right there, you can definitely see signs of envenomation. We're going to come off of that. But if you look at how the head is tilting, that's pretty much instantaneous and losing body control. All right, let's move on to the next one. Everybody give a round of applause for putting the specter of Kate away. And now we're gonna go to the acid. And why did you pick that specific rate rat to be Kate? Because Kate was a brunette, and that's a, I guess a brunette colored rat. A brunette colored rat, okay. And again, we're gonna put this lock in here, but not unlock it yet. So, I should select this white-haired one, which is kind of like a blonde, right? Yes. I'm going to name this rat Michelle. Michelle would be my ex-wife. Also, Michelle would be Camera Guy Kurt's cousin. And that is it for Michelle. All right, Kurt, you up for the next one? Yep. I've saved a special snake for you, Kurt. Well, not for you, but this is a special one for your ex. And when we feed this one, I want you guys to pay very, very close attention to this one's bite. It is not the most venomous in here. As a matter of fact, in this wall, this is the least venomous snake we have. 
Uh, it's venom is slightly less toxic than a Western Diamond. Actually, it's venom, I take that back, is slightly more toxic than a Western Diamondback, but its venom production is very, very low when compared to a Western. However, each snake has a different personality. <laughs> That's a fact. And although these are known to be more docile than a Western, typically this particular snake is usually not and it usually uses a very, very effective venom load. I love feeding this snake, and the reason I love feeding this snake over the other ones is because death usually occurs very quickly, meaning there's a lot less suffering. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this into the lock. All right, Kurt, who, who is this on this Valentine's Day? Uh, Kelly. Kelly, so Kelly the rat? And again, pay attention to the speed of the strike. Over and done. All right, Curtis, focus on that snake and we'll see if we can get that snake to yawn and reset its jaw. That will often happen after a strike. We'll give it a few seconds to see if it does. If not, what you don't see is as the rat is expiring its prey, the snake has been paying close attention to it. And it just picked up the heat signature of the camera and turned to face what it thought might be a potential threat. Doesn't look like we're going to get a yawn right now. So we'll move on to the next one. And I'm going to feed now what's one of my favorite rattlesnakes. And I'm going to feed it another one of the rats that I'm going to name. And for those of you who uh, are paying attention here, Kurt fed one brunette, and that was a redhead, correct, Kurt? Yes. And me, I've got another blonde. And no, this isn't Question Girl. We're doing great. This is uh, a gal by the name of Sarah right here. We'll go ahead and put her in there. job right there. Now I want you to focus on this rat for a little longer. I know we said we weren't going to do any rat suffering, but this one, I don't know if that was a legit bite. That could have been a dry bite because I'm not seeing the effects right now. Now that wiping the face could mean something. We're going to wait for a few seconds to see if we see venom effects take hold. Um, that could have just been a warning bite or a dry bite. And what we're going to typically see and this is not going to be a very pretty one when the time goes, uh, because this is going to, I can tell you, if it isn't venomated, it's going to take a bit. Uh, I think it likely is, but I'm not ready to call it yet. I think the wiping its face is probably because it's feeling some sensation there. It's trying to get cleaned off and having problems. What I'm looking for is it to have problems when it walks. You'll typically see that. Or on a face bite, frequently you'll see the bridge of the nose start to, to swell up, um, indicating that it's been envenomated. They can do dry bites, and they frequently do do dry bites when it's a defensive type bite. I will say if Sarah survives this, she won't survive the next one. It's just the way it goes. All right, well that was kind of it. Let's see if we can check on these and see how they're doing, if anything is worth checking on. Uh, if you look up here, whoop, kick in the stool. That rat is almost expired. It's it's about done. So it does go pretty quick. Same with this rat down here. Here, Kurt, you're getting the yawn a little bit. We get one more end of the yawn. It just cracked its mouth. We'll see if it finishes up. And they never do what you want them to do. But as you can see, the rats are that have been bit are trying to expire, and the next few will will be done. And then, of course, they will be consumed. Kurt, do you have any questions about this Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> None at all, huh? All right, guys. So what I want you to focus on again, this is an effort to make sure that we're covering the scientific point because we do want this to be educational, not just a smut film for rats, is how quick the strike is. Check that out in slow-mo. See what all happens. It's really neat to watch how quick that venom takes effect and go from there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.